So in the previous video, we saw an example where I showed you that the length of the vector product of A and B is actually equal to the length of A times the length of B times sine of the angle theta. In this video, I'm going to prove that that is the case generally. Um, so this is going to go into a bit of quite in-depth, uh, hairy kind of calculations. So um, uh, you have been warned, OK? So what we're going to do is we are going to start off by looking at uh, the length of A cross B squared. OK, so I'm going to take a look at the length squared. The main reason for that is that I need I can avoid uh, the square root sign. OK, so this would be equal to a two B3, take away A3, B2, squared, plus A3, B1, take away A1, B3, squared, plus A1, B2, take away A2, B1, squared. So the next stage is I need to expand out these brackets. OK, so we have A2, squared, b3 squared. Then we're going to have take away two lots of a2, a3, b2, b3. I'm reordering the terms just so they're in uh, an order that we can follow. Then we've got plus a3 squared, b2 squared. Right, expanding this out, we're going to get a3 squared, b1 squared. Take away two lots of a1, a3, B1, B3, plus A1 squared, B3 squared. Now this bracket, so plus A1 squared, B2 squared, take away 2, A1, A2, B1, B2, plus A2 squared, B1 squared. OK, so that is the first stage. Right, so the next thing I want to do um, is I'm going to collect these terms together by focusing in on factorising out A1 squared. And from that, you can see that I've got the B2 squared there. And I've got B3 squared there. So B2 squared plus B3 squared. And then I'm going to factor out the A2 squared from their terms. So I've got the B3 squared and the B1 squared. So B1 squared plus B3 squared. Then we've got the A3 squareds. And we're going to have B1 squared and uh, B2 squared. Then... In the middle, we've got take away two lots of, um, well, let's do A1, A2, B1, B2 first, then uh, A1, A3, B1, B3, plus A2, A3, B2, B3. Okay, so this is that term. Now, the, there is a reason as to why I've written it in this form, okay? It will become apparent very soon. So this is going to be equation number one. Okay, that's uh, number one. Right, I'm now going to look at this scalar product because we know that there's a link from the previous video. We saw that there was a link between the scalar product and the vector product. So mod a, mod b, cosine theta. And we know that this is a dotted with b, okay, which is equal to a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides of this. So we would have mod a squared mod b squared cosine squared theta is a dotted with b squared which is this squared. So, A1, B1 plus A2, B2 plus A3, B3 squared. So, what I need to do is now expand this out. Okay. So, what we're going to get is A1 squared 
B1 squared. Then we've got A1, B1 times A2, B2. So A1, A2, B1, B2. And we're going to have A1, B1 times A3, B3. So plus A1, A3, B1, B3. Then we're going to have A2, B2 times A1, B1. So plus A1, A2, B1, B2. Plus A2, B2 times itself. So A2 squared, B2 squared. Plus this term times this term, so A2, A3, B2, B3. Plus this term times this term, so A1, A3, B1, B3. Plus this term times this term, so A2, A3, B2, B3. Plus this term squared, so A3 squared, B3 squared. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a similar kind of style setup. So I've got the A1 squared um, with the B1 squared. So I'll just, I might pop that in a bracket just to kind of exemplify what's going to happen next. Plus A2 squared times uh, B2 squared. Plus A3 squared times B3 squared, that term there. Plus two lots of, because we've got the A1, A2, B1, B2, and A1, A2, B1, B2 there. So A1, A2, B1, B2. Oh, we've got two of those. We have uh, two of those. A1, A3, B1, B3. And we've got two of those. Okay, and this is equation number two. Now, what you want to look at is you want to say to yourself, okay, well, this is looking very familiar. This is looking exactly the same as that. So, and also, we've got the A1 squared, B1 squared. We've got A1 squared, B2 squared, plus B3 squared. So, we can group the terms together. So, what we'll do is we'll add equation one and equation two together. And what we're going to get is we've got the mod a cross b squared plus the left hand side here mod a squared uh, mod b squared cosine squared theta is equal to well that bit and that bit knock each other out we've got the a1 squared lots of that and that so I can factorise it all together and have b1 squared plus b2 squared plus b3 squared. And I've got the same for the a2s. And I've got the same for the a3s. Oh, b, b3 squared. OK. So then, what is this? Well, because I've got b1 squared plus b2 squared plus b3 squared for each of these three terms, I can factorise that out, and I would have a1 squared plus a2 squared plus a3 squared times b1 squared plus b2 squared plus b3 squared. So what I have is the length of a cross b squared plus mod a squared, mod b squared, cosine squared theta, is equal to, that is mod a all squared, and that is mod b all squared. So what I'll do is I'll subtract that from both sides. So I'll rearrange this. like so, and then I can factorise this side, so I can factor out mod a squared, mod b squared, and I can have one take away cosine squared theta. So mod a cross mod b squared is mod a squared, mod b squared, sine squared theta. 
because sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared. And then I can square root through, leaving me with mod of a cross b is mod a mod b sine theta. Okay? Now, obviously, a little bit of uh, checking because we've got the sine squared there. You're square rooting. Are we getting the negative as well? Well, uh, the left-hand side has to be uh, positive because you've got the length of A cross B here. Well, you've got the, the length of A cross B there. Um, so... Um, that would be taken to be a length, okay, so positive. This is positive, this is positive. Sine theta, therefore, has to be positive. And you're looking, therefore, at sine theta um, between 0 and 180 degrees, okay? So that shows you that this is the case. This is how it can be derived.